you know, sometimes I look around and I just wonder, what's going to happen to all these people? All these lost souls who believe what they see on the news, believe voting can change a system, believe we're going to Mars. We are on the verge of the biggest transformation in human history. And all these people care about is, are you voting for Trump or Hillary? Who won the game on Sunday? Or did you buy an iPhone 7? It's truly unbelievable. Could you imagine if the power grid went out? People cannot live without their phones for five minutes. What if the power went out for five months? These people are lied to every single day of their lives. They are living the biggest lie they can possibly imagine. They are not going to know what hit them when this world crumbles and it will they will wake up all right but it'll be too late i'm sure many of you feel the same but sometimes i wish i never thought for myself sometimes i wish i never looked into things questioned the system questioned reality because it's just so overwhelming sometimes this world is so sick. <laughs> Everything is backwards, rigged, corrupt, fake, beyond comprehension. We live in such a synthetic reality. Everything about this world is fake. Fake food, fake political system, fake religious system, fake medical system, fake money fake skies it's unreal you know what I think I think in this absolute fake rigged reality in which we live you want to know what the only real thing is the only thing that matters that's real it's your spirit your soul the spiritual, because they can't take that from you. That you can save. Because you can't change the system. This sick, fake world was meant to fall. And there's no other way around it. You think we're dealing with mere humans? These psychopaths in control are vessels. They're all influenced by forces beyond this realm, beyond your perception, beyond this physical dimension that you perceive. This is why the world is the way it is. This is how they are able to carry out their sick agenda against us all and do the things they are capable of doing. Because understand, this goes beyond the flesh. This is why there is a new world order. After many years on this journey of finding some type of truth in this world, this is what I finally realized. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we are dealing with. This is why the world is the way it is. The way I see it, the sooner you understand this simple truth the better off you'll be. 
God bless.